Tech Cocktail Conversations, candid insights from startup founders, entrepreneurs, and thought leaders from around the globe. I'm Roshna Chowdhury. I'm co-founder and CMO of Popbox.com. Popbox is a nonpartisan, neutral platform that allows individuals to communicate with their members of Congress. I was a lobbyist for several years before starting Popbox.com, uh, and the idea of it came from my own experience as a lobbyist when I'd go lobby Congress and um, tell them about all these letters that their constituents had written, and oftentimes the staffer had no concept of all the petitions and the letters that were happening out in um, the grassroots. So we created Popbox.com to allow individuals to have a voice that was aggregated, quantified and accountable um, uh, on a, a neutral platform. Most recently, uh, the House Democrats announced last week, in fact, that they were going to start using the Popbox API to automatically pull in real time public sentiment and organization endorsement of legislation coming directly from popbox.com, which means that once a person uh, uses popbox.com to communicate with Congress, they're not on, we're not only delivering their letter to their member of Congress, but it's being aggregated and sent directly to the House Democrats uh, internet, where over 2,000 congressional staffers look to to get information. Starting a business in Washington, D.C., is it has its pros and um, in some ways it has its, its challenges as well. It's not naturally seen as the place that you go to start um, a startup. But at this end, I think a lot of that is because uh, D.C. is oftentimes seen as a zero-sum game, right? In D.C., there's winners and there's losers, right? You run for office and you win or you lose. You try to pass legislation and it passes or it fails. And startup life and being an entrepreneur is more about iterating and pivoting and trying to find a solution to a problem but then if that's not the best solution just tweaking it a little to make it better and improving on it so being in DC and being a startup in DC suddenly it opened my eyes to what being a startup is about because I came from this idea of of winning and losing and then I came into this world where people are just genuinely helpful and entrepreneurs that I meet all over the city truly want to help and make our product better and that's really exciting um, for me and it's quite a, a transformation. I'm a first-time entrepreneur and so much so that um, I didn't know what to do to start a business, so I went and bought like the idiot's guide to starting a business for dummies or something, and I sat there at Star Starbucks and I read it. Um, and then I realized, you know, it makes more sense to go out there and just research the problem and try to find solutions that, that really fit the needs of, of our various users and customers. Uh, but one of the challenges um, that, that we came across quickly is you can create a really great product, but then if you don't tell people about it or if you don't create ways for people to share it, uh, it's kind of useless. And, and that's the thing. So we quickly learned that everything we did needed to be shareable, it needed to be searchable and, and findable, if, if that's the word. Um, and that was like a big lesson uh, that we learned and a challenge that we um, have been overcoming. Thank you.